Hey guys, welcome back. So in today's video, we are going to do a CI CD pipeline and we are going to deploy infrastructure in AWS cloud using Terraform and GitHub Action. And this is going to be from very scratch, like literally from scratch. We'll be creating a repo then putting in some code and then running GitHub Actions. All right. Okay. So I have my GitHub account over here. I'm going to create a repo and I'll just call it uh, <coughs> Terraform deploy all right and it'll be public deploy infrastructure this video could be a little long because since we are doing everything from scratch right so just hang on and watch till the end deploy infrastructure in AWS cloud and we'll just create All right, so this is done. I'll copy the SSH URL because I have SSH keys added already. If you don't know how to add SSH key into GitHub, uh, there's a bunch of content already available on that. You can just do a simple Google search, right? And then I'll go to my terminal. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to git clone this repo. So this is now an empty repo. I'll just cd into terraform deploy and we don't have any files. So let's just create a couple of files. Uh, first would be readme.md and I'll just put in terraform deploy runs a github action to deploy infrastructure in AWS cloud, right? So that's the readme file. Uh, one thing before, so there are a couple of prereq, right? So you should have your AWS uh, access keys and secret uh, already in GitHub. That's what uh, GitHub Actions are going to use, right? There are other ways also. I have covered the most basic way that is to put secret access key and access ID into AWS and to GitHub. And the way you do it is you actually go to settings over here. Uh, not these settings. Uh, I think it's the account setting. And you go to secrets. Does anyone see secrets? Oh, come on, password and authentication. No, that's not that. Appearance. Developer settings. No. Oh, come on, where is it? Okay. Actually, I did it very long time back, so mm, a little hard to recall. Let's go back to the repo settings. Terraform deploy. One. Uh, settings. Ah, secrets and variables. Yeah. So click on actions and variables. Do we have any secrets? No, we don't. So for this repo, yeah, actually this is a new repo, right? So for this repo, we actually have to set a couple of uh, variables. So let me put those variables. I'll just put it quickly. Let me first grab those variables from my AWS account, right? So I'll just go to my AWS account. And since I'm logged in as a root user, I'm going to use the root user credentials, right? So I'll just go to security credentials. That's my daughter. You guys can ignore her. All right, so I have a couple of, and you cannot create more than two access keys, so I'll just delete one. Delete. And this was created two days back, so I'm going to deactivate this one. I'm going to create a new one. 
see it says I understand I'm creating this for root access create and I'm going to pause the video and set up those variables and let's continue then all right so I've added two secrets you can see AWS access key ID and AWS secret access key uh, we are going to use the this when we create our uh, github action yaml file right it will it is actually going to be a workflow so we are going to use these secrets then uh, that's how github would be able to create infrastructure in our aws account so that's the context behind that all right so so we have created the readme file i just need to create one terraform file definitely so let's do a vi main dot tf that's the infrastructure we are going to build and this the way we want to build our infrastructure is that during our uh, github action uh, so that would be a manual run so i don't want to run it automatically uh, that would be a manual run and it will take two inputs from the user uh, region and uh, uh, a vpc name right where we want to deploy the interest de deploy the ec2 instance and then based on that it is going to basically um, deploy the infrastructure right it will take the region and the vpc name and it is going to build that ec2 instance so we are just going to build an ec2 instance in that particular region and in that specific vpc all right <coughs> so let's quickly get started because that's going to be a lot of code so we are going to set up two variables region PC name right then I need to fetch some data like AMIs and uh, before that I need to actually set up provider that's going to be AWS and for region I would just set it to where dot region Right, so now we have a provider and a variable defined. Let's get some uh, values from the AWS using the data. So data, I, the first thing I need to get is an AMI. So I'm going to get uh, Linux 2, Amazon Linux 2 latest AMI, right? So AMI, I'll just call it latest Amazon Linux. Recent is going to be true owners would be Amazon and all this code would be available in this repo so I'll just put the link for this repo in the description and then we need some filters and values would be x86 underscore 64 this is a 64 bit AMI and another filter Right. 
that closes our data for AMI. Uh, another information we need is uh, so subnet information, right? So that's another required uh, value when you create an EC2 instance, subnet ID. So for that, we actually need to extract the VPC information and then using that, we need to extract the subnet information. So data AWS VPC call it selected PC and again a filter and this time name and tag name this is what we are looking for the value uh, sorry again for my daughter she's a live wire all right, so tag name. All right, so now since we have written our Terraform code, uh, I actually have written the workflow uh, code already. So I've just copy and pasted it. And the location where you want to put this code is uh, so you are going to create a directory uh, and called dot github i already have done that so ls hyphen la if i do you can see i have already created a github directory and under this directory if you see i have created another directory called workflows and within that i have created a file called deploy.yaml right so let me show you the content of the deploy.yaml file so this is the github action file you can see the name it says deploy ec2 instance then it's a workflow dispatch that is it's going to be manual action uh, it is going to take two inputs uh, the first is region and the default value would be us is one and it's required the second uh, input would be VPC and name. It is also required uh, value. And the default value is application VPC because that's the VPC I'm going to put my EC2 instance in. You can put any default value. Uh, any which way it is going to fetch the VPC information based on the variable we provide. Uh, let me go to my AWS console and show you. Let's go to VPC. So you can see I already have an application VPC uh, there, right? And one thing I more want to show you is the tag which I have to my private subnets, right? So suppose this is private subnet two, you look into tags. So this actually has a tag called type and the value is private, right? So this tag should be there. You can have any kind of identifier for your private subnets, but this is the identifier which I have for my private subnets, right? All right, let's go back to the code. So this is actually going to run on an Ubuntu latest uh, runner. You can or we can use a custom runner. So probably I'll do another video on how to create custom runners in GitHub, right? And that could be your EC2 instance running in your AWS account. Then we are using some uh, GitHub action plugins like checkout code. This is actually going to check out the code on this runner, then set up some Terraform it actually needs to set up Terraform to run Terraform, right? Then it is going to set up our AWS credentials. So if you remember, we have set secrets in our uh, repository, AWS access key ID and secret access key. So this is what it is going to set up and the region that it is going to set up uh, based on the value which we give in our input, right? Then it is basically doing nothing. It is simply doing Terraform init. So I've just named it fetch Terraform module and then I'm doing an apply, which is where I'm supposed I'm basically providing two variables. The first is region, the region value is coming from the input. Secondly, the VPC name, again, coming from the input and it is auto approved so that we don't have to do a yes or no, right? So this is our YAML file. And once you do, uh, so let me do 
git add git commit adding files to deploy infra and git push so i actually already did a push and unfortunately i didn't realize that i have paused the recording so that's why i'm recording it again but yeah i already did a push and now if i go back to my repo and go to actions over here you can see there is a deploy ec2 action created deploy ec2 right so let's click on that and since we don't have any run let's run the workflow and when you will click on run workflow you see you get to provide two values first is region the second is vpc name so i am going to use the default values because this that is where i'm going to put my ec2 instance but if you have other region suppose it, this could be us west 1 us west 2 and the name of application and name of vpc can be different for you right so let's run this workflow so it takes a couple of minutes for the workflow to show over here not a couple of minutes maybe a few seconds maybe a minute and if it doesn't show you can just simply refresh the page like i'm going to do and it is going to show now and just click on deploy just keep on clicking right you can see it has already in a state of terraform apply and it has generated the plan and actually started creating the instance as well this is going to be quick let's go to our ec2 console and see if we have an instance in running state not yet let's refresh keep refreshing and yeah so instance has shown you can see this has come up and i believe the pipeline would be completed yeah so pipeline is completed luckily we didn't make any changes in our i mean we didn't make any errors in our terraform code that is strange i normally do some kind of i mean i do leave bugs when i write code but yeah luckily we didn't so yeah you can see i mean each stage has its own logs you can just expand that and check it like configure aws credentials right and yeah that's pretty much it i know this is a very straightforward example and very simple one uh, mostly in companies you would see because you would be deploying a very complex infrastructure so their pipelines would also be complex right but this is the basic the basics don't change right this is the basic so basic would always remain the same and any pipeline would do the same thing like this pipeline is doing it's, it's going to set up some credentials maybe if you are running your own runner probably you are going to use im roles uh, this can be an enhancement for you just to modify the deploy yaml file and instead of setting up aws credentials and fetching the values from the secrets probably use an im role and your own custom runner right i'll probably do a video on creating custom runners but how to use that uh, in a pipeline that is uh, on to you and yeah that's i mean the basic structure the basic idea remains the same always no matter how complex the infrastructure is so that's what i wanted to cover in this video i hope you guys like this video uh, please do subscribe to the channel before leaving and thank you for watching